Hi there, Dave here, how are you? This is going to be a quick little video about my respirator. This is the guy that stops me walking around sniffing and snorting for two or three days after I've been in the workshop. It is a Pure Light Extreme full visor with battery, fan, motor and filters all up in the top here. This is the part where when you put it on, you look like the alien. I don't care. The problem is, when you're younger, you tend to think you're going to live forever and you just put up with things because you repair quickly. Um, I found that when I hit 50, I didn't repair as quickly. And that's when I started to take a fair bit more care about my personal um, fitness and health. And this is one of the big things. Now this guy will save you, will save your face, because it's an impact resistant screen that is certified to Australian standards. In the top, it has P2 particle filters. This will not filter gas, it will only filter particles. So it sucks air through these guys, blows it down through this tube, and expels it through these holes here. And that just blows down over your face and then out the bottom through these little holes here under your chin. The top is not designed as a safety helmet, although it would be better than not wearing anything at all. But it's not designed for impact. So if you need a hard hat, I don't know what the answer is. Um, there are other types of filters out there that do have a hard hat set up in them and the motor and the fan and the battery and the filter is all on a, a uh, it's all in one unit that hooks onto a waste, waste belt which obviously goes around the waste. Anyway, I got a blow flight just on me. This is terrific. It's happening to me all the time today. We'll ignore it. Anyway, so the, the filter unit on, on your belt, which normally hangs out behind you, has a just over a one inch diameter plastic hose that runs from the belt up to the back of the helmet. And so, and it expels the air out over, over your face, not as effectively as this one does. So that's all well and good, but the problem is if you're moving your head around while you're working on a project, looking down at the bench and then up and around and moving this way and that way, the hose restricts your movement big time, what happens, it holds, it holds the helmet still, so you find the helmet's moving forwards and as it comes forward the weight holds it down and you tip back and you've got this thing over your eyes. It's dangerous. The other thing about the belt mount is that I normally wear a nail bag around my waist when I'm working, like especially on site, and or even in, in the workshop, or sometimes I'll throw a nail bag on so much quicker just to reach into a pouch hanging off your belt rather than going back to somewhere else to pick up screws and what have you. So, as I say, with the two of them on, the nail bag and the belt to hold the, the um, battery and filter and what have you, blower for the, for the other mask, it's a headache. Um, I end up not wearing it. So, if you don't wear something, it's not going to work because it's not there. This guy, I wear because it's so easy to put on and it takes you probably three or four times wearing it before you become comfortable with it. At the beginning, you'll put it on and you'll think, what a waste of money. I hate it. It's only as you get to start to look a little bit fancy boy. That's not what it's for. I was going to say, on the back of this is an adjuster and it adjusts behind your head. So you just give it a twist and it adjusts the clamp that locks around your forehead. So it holds it individually of everything else that's happening, which is great. The other thing is that when you put it on, the natural instinct is when you put it on, is to pull it forward. And you, you don't do that because it moves the center of gravity of everything forward and you'll be trying to compensate. You'll just tip your head back a little bit. So after a while, you'll realize that you can put it on and you just slide it back a little bit until it's comfortable. And honestly, it's a great machine. You, you'll put it on and you'll put it on. You put it on, you won't, you won't second guess. Oh, should I put the helmet on? It's too much mucking around because I've got to put the waist belt on and I've got to put the helmet on. I've got to connect the waist belt up to the, the hose into the helmet 
and I can't reach it properly and I've got to have a mirror to be able to open the clamp, put the spring clamp to lock it in there and believe me, I've been through it, hate it. So these things are fantastic. Now someone also asked me about whether or not it's, you can wear earmuffs with them and I said no, but you know, I found out only today it has these secure points for individual earmuffs. So I'm guessing that Pure Light make earmuffs that you can just slide into it and they'd be a spring mounted thing and they'd just work on the side of your head. So there you go, you can wear earmuffs with them. I'm sorry for all the people that, uh, that I said you couldn't. 90 lashes for me. There you go. Well, touchy point that if you're arranging it. Anyway, um, it's great. I'll put it on. You can see that I look a little bit like an alien. These things I wear because I'm old and it happens to most of us. Our eyesight starts to fail a little bit. Because I was also asked, can you wear these with, uh, with glasses? Now underneath is a little grabber that you can pull the, the base out with. So you put it on and then you just pull it forwards and just hold the glasses in position and then turn it on. Now, I didn't talk too much while I had it on because this is the second take I took and I did talk in the other one and I found out that I was talking a little bit louder because of the noise of the fan in my ear. Now, if the noise of the fan in your ear is going to bug you, it might be something to consider. But when, the, when I put the earmuffs on, when, well, even this way, when I put the earplugs in that I use with it, the noise of the fan is not an issue at all. You hardly hear it. So, they're not cheap, but what are your lungs worth? Now, I'm guessing if you're young, you're going to say, oh, I can't afford it, I get by. And yeah, I guess also at night time, you blow your nose off, you've been ripping cedar and stuff like that, or working with stuff, maybe even cement dust. Nose hair only does so much to filter out the rubbish that's going into you. You'll find that you've got junk, when you blow your nose it'll come out black and it, that's only part of what's been going through you. The rest of it's in your lungs and believe me, you'll be coughing it up for the next day or two. And then maybe you haven't, aren't going to be in a dusty environment for a week and if you're young, you'll think, yeah, that wasn't so bad, I'm feeling fine, I can still run, blah, 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 blah. Believe me, when you hit 50, you won't think that anymore. Um, 50's not old either. Like, people are going to live to 100. That's going to be the norm. So why cut yourself short? Do yourself a favour. If you don't get this brand, get something like it. Because it's... You only get one shot at life. Have a good time with it. And this is going to help. Alrighty, tip for Dave. Thanks a lot. See you later.